Hello, my name is Tony, and I'm here to share the Word of God with you. And first, before, before, we start, before I start, I'm going to start with a prayer. And this prayer is for hard times. Have you experienced hard times like we are going through right now? Listen to this prayer. It says, Lord, you are the lifter, lifter of my head and the one who has blessed me with a sound mind. My life has fallen on hard times and I am struggling to keep my head up. I don't know what to do and struggles to face each day. Bills are piling up. Friends have deserted me. Doors are slamming shut and I feel like I'm in prison. Let your light expose, expose the cause of my hardships and give me the wisdom to know what to do. Give me a persevering heart so I will wait with patience, patience as you work in my circumstances. Release me from the chain of the enemy which, is, which he is using to keep me bound. Send your angels ahead of me to make my way clear that I may run and fulfill your calling upon my life. Give me hope and satisfy, sanctify my heart with your sure salvation. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Okay, that was the prayer. And now, these are some scriptures that you can use to, in your daily life, to help, to help you get through hard times. I, I use these scriptures because it is very hard now. People are acting crazy. Everything is just so, I don't know, just an unrest, you know. Trying to get, I'm just trying to get one day to the next day. Just trying to make it day by day. So this is what I do. I focus on these scriptures and focus on Christ. So the first scripture is, says, do not sorrow for the Lord of for the joy of the Lord is your strength that is Nehemiah 8 and 10 for fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you yes I will help you I will uphold you with my righteousness right hand. That's Isaiah 41.10. And this is the King James Version of the Bible. Okay, the next one. Then make sure you write these scriptures down for you can go back and reflect on them and read them later. And the next one we have is the Lord is my strength and song and he has become my salvation. That's Exodus 15 and 2. Okay, moving right along. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble 
That was that's Psalms 46 and 1. And the next scripture is, is everyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is every is everyone cheerful? Let him sing songs. That's James 5.13. And the next one says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you. And you shall glorify me. That's Psalms 50.15. The next one is, These things that will come to pass and to stand before the son of god stand for the son of man luke 21 and 36 it said the next one says trust in him at all times you people pour out your heart before him god is a refuge for us psalm 62 and eight is everything in everything give thanks for this is the will of God will of God in Christ Jesus for you. That's first Thessalonians 518. So make sure you write this scripture down and for you can go back and read them. And concentrate on these scriptures. This is something I would do. Especially for, especially for Christians. This is what you need to do. For we can get through hard times. So our next one is. But now this. But know this. That in the last days. Perilous times. Will come. That's Second Timothy. Three and one. The next one is who comforts us in all tribulations that we may be able to comfort those who who are in trouble with the comfort with in which we ourselves are comforted by God. Second Corinthians one and four. Our next one will be, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the God word of God, Ephesians 6, 17. So that will conclude our scriptures. That I want you to write down, write these scriptures down for you can go back and reflect on these scriptures, read them. Something that you can get, that will get you in through hard times. Especially if you're a Christian because Christians have it hard. Trying to make it through hard times. And that will be... That's, that, that's all for today. So make sure you write the scriptures down, study them, and reflect on them. That's something I'll do. So if you like these type of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Be blessed.